what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe hopefully this video is going to help you but what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to show you how to create a like a like a crowd a crowd of people and i'm going to use just a single model so it will obviously be the same guy over and over again but what you could do is you could use like four different uh, objects you could use four different models and just to give it a bit of variety but i'm just going to show you the basics of how to do it and show you how easy it is to do it so yeah hopefully you're going to enjoy the video make sure you subscribe like i said and let's jump into it so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to mixamo and log in and just download a character and then just download a character hit download and download the fbx and then once it's downloaded go back to blender so once it's done, I'd go back to Blender and import it. So go here and import FBX and look for your download. So boom, and click there, boom, import. Okay, now our object is imported. You can see there, it is imported. And what you want to do is select the mesh of the character, hit Control J. And then what you want to do is go Shift A and get a plane. And then go S, skate it up quite a lot and then with the plane selected let's go to geometry nodes so click there and hit new then go shift there and get a distribute points distribute points on faces so over there plug this in there and then get an instances on points so shift day type in instances on points put this there and on the instance just drag this here and look for collection info Put this there, look for relative, and select your collection. And hit there, duplicate collection. Okay, and now you can see, got a crowd going there. And now got original, and you can see we've got that. And then go shift A and get a random value. and plug the value into the scale. And you can see this now changes the size of your characters, but we don't really want that. So we can make the min something like that, and the max something like that. You can see that changes now, and you can see there. And then density just makes more characters. You can see there, and seed just randomizes it like that. And you can increase the people, so like that. And if you want them to be like the original, that will be like that. But you can see they're too close together. So what you can do is make it relative. And you've got something like that. And if I go here, you can see what that looks like. And now you've got a crowd of different people. And it's really, really easy. You can change the seed. And you can change the density, which just increases the amount of people. It's pretty straightforward so you can see now you've got a whole crowd of people and completely that easy so if i go there now look at that and you've literally just created a crowd of people so easily like i said you can change the the you can add like a few different types of like i said you can change the the kinds of people just by adding two or three different kind of models or 10 different people you know you can download 10 different of the models from Mixamo and then do it like that it's completely fine and then it will just basically make sure that you have different people instead of the same person in the same scene like I've got but it's pretty much that easy hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe check out Blender Kit link in the description check out my Patreon and make sure you hit that subscribe button see you in the next video peace